In this busy world, we sometimes find ourselves living only looking ahead as if being chased by something. When that happens, even if we have lived wholeheartedly, all we feel is loss, emptiness, and solitude. Then how could we straighten out our feelings in these situations and find our true selves? The answer to that is in Yun Hu Myung's writing. When reading his novels, we are enveloped in a hazy nostalgia or a romantic yearning. That is because his novels are always about travels, searching for my own self. In these trips that is described in the first person, the narrators are generally shrouded in an indescribable loss and an uncertainty towards existence. Due to this emptiness, they leave on trips to search for the meaning of their lives. Of the two types of trips, one traces back in time in search of objects of yearning, such as ancient sites and ideologies. In these trips, a mysterious image draws the readers. Its representative piece is Don Huang's love. Don Huang, a city of mystery. There's a yearning for a strange being in this city and a hidden record of the past history and life. The writer searches for them and finally reveals the realities of life. Its secret lies in the numberless mural paintings that are symbols of Don Huang found in a cave. Records on the Silk Road where past Eastern and Western civilization are added to this and the main character goes on an imaginative trip on Don Huang. There, he discovers the previously unknown Korean history along with his lost self. Silk Road is actually a very close friend of ours. Um, 그 기록이 이 도낭이라는 실크로드의 한 도시에서 발견됐거든요. 이것은 상당히 중요한 문제라고 봐서 이 문제를 우리 속으로 끌어올 수 있겠다. 충분히. A land of agony stretching endlessly on the desert, the Silk Road. The lion that spent a toilsome time wandering around the Silk Road is the discouraged and failed image of myself. The main character, who wanted to escape from daily life, longs for the image of the lion that throws off its hide after a long day's walk. He grows to yearn for the lion before he realizes it. The 서역보다도 오히려 더 중요하게 연이 되고 있구나 춤추어지고 있구나 여기서 그 마당에서 뛰뛰며 놀고 있구나 하는 것을 음그 문화의 교류 어 세계사의 교류 어 이런 상황에서 저는 보려고 했죠 그 상징으로 하나의 상징으로 보려고 했습니다. 
In a forgotten, beautiful but abandoned place, the main characters strike upon a romantic world that they pursued, and Yoon Hoo Myung presents something that will maintain our reality. Yoon Hoo Myung's novels have a new tendency apart from his earlier novels. Critics say that the fantastic atmosphere that appear in his novels are influences from his previous job. He dreamed of becoming a poet before he turned 10, and at the age of 21, his dream came true. But after his long-cherished dream was achieved, a wave of emptiness swept in, and he roamed about to write new poems. After 12 years, instead of poems, he started to write novels which began to get recognition. He succeeded in making his own unique style, abstract, experimental novels. Yoon Hoo Myung, after many years of searching, found his true self along with his work. Another form of travel that his narrator leaves for is an actual trip. In many cases, these actual trips are accompanied by a woman. Almost all of his novels is a variation and repetition of meeting and parting with others. They arrive in a ruined place where there is no possibility of salvation from reality. That is also true for the women who accompany them. In the end, through the pain and despair from their travels, they find the meaning of their existence. We could see him as a traveler who must go on a literary trip to ruminate on the meaning of life. Of course, the ultimate destination of this traveler is the return to reality. Therefore, his departure is a trip which will bring him back. A critic once said that the easiest way to become a novelist is to read all the books of all times and places and write a book different from all of them. In order to deliver his message, Yoon Hoo Myung gave up his childhood dream of becoming a poet and now he has his own unique style of writing. In his passion of creating new stories aside from history, we learn of finding our lost selves.